What's up guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the cameras on the new iPad mini, uh, looking at the pictures and the video quality of both the front and the back facing cameras, so let's go ahead and get started. First up, we'll take a look at the back facing camera on the iPad mini. Uh, of course, it is 5 megapixels, does 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second, has autofocus, face detection, backside illumination, uh, photo geotagging, and lots, lots more. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and I'm going to actually run a few pictures uh, and videos that I've taken from the back facing camera on the new iPad mini so you can get an idea of what the quality looks like. There's a little test shot from the back facing camera on my iPad. Girlfriend is out here walking the dog in the backyard. Colors seem to look nice. It kind of looks a little bit shaky. I'll go ahead and do a, a walking test. See how much the video stabilization looks. Or how it looks. So there you go, there's a look at some pictures and video taken from the back facing camera on the iPad mini. I don't think it looks as good as the iPhone 5, of course because the iPhone 5 has an 8 megapixel camera rather than a 5 megapixel camera. And I'm also pretty sure the new iPad mini uh, doesn't have the sapphire crystal lens like the iPhone 5 has. I may be wrong about that, uh, but that's probably why there's a little bit of difference in quality, but it's not too much. Uh, they both look great. So now let's take a look at the front facing camera on the new iPad mini. Uh, if you compare it to the back facing camera, it's not as good, uh, but I like it a little bit better just because you can see yourself uh, when you're taking pictures and video because it is on the front where the screen is. Uh, so now the camera is 1.2 megapixels. It's used 720p HD video, and of course it's got the backside illumination, face detection, geotagging, that whole thing. And it just looks a lot better when you're doing pictures and videos because it used to be VGA quality, which is standard definition video. It just looks terrible. Uh, now it looks much better. Uh, before we go on, let's look at some pictures and video I've taken from the front facing camera. So this video I'm recording from the front facing camera on the new iPad. Uh, as you see here, uh, there's the mayhem that is left over from my unboxing videos. Uh, basically I'm just going to be showing you the quality. Right now I'm in my office. I'm walking into the living room which is a little bit more dark so you can see uh, kind of how the low lighting works. It's very, well, it's not very dark in here, but it, it's pretty dim. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. I'm going to go ahead and start walking down the hall. Uh, so this is 720p HD video. This is the same camera uh, now that is on the new iPod Touch 5G, uh, iPhone 5, and iPad 4. Alright, let's go ahead and walk outside, take a look at that. Uh, but the quality looks pretty nice though. Uh, definitely a step up from the VGA quality uh, we had on the iPad uh, 3 uh, and all the older Apple devices. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty nice. It's kind of awkward because I'm holding it uh, sideways and the, the camera is over here and to get it centered I kind of have to line myself up with the camera rather than the iPad. Now I'm lined up with the iPad, that's kind of weird, but as you see, it looks pretty nice. Does it feel as awkward to take video and pictures on the iPad mini? Yes, it still does. So as you see, the front facing camera doesn't look amazing, uh, but if you compare it to VGA, much better. Uh, definitely an upgrade there. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, click the like button down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got tons more videos coming, only new iPad. Uh, so make sure you subscribe for all those and check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.